And hi folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al, adjusting a few things. I just drained this. I like really strong coffee, not the weak stuff they served in the Marines or Air Force, but strong, strong coffee. Basically Americana with no water. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about the weather. I hope you could hear me. Yeah, let's get this up. Now, me and my friends were arguing. Let's see if we get it. Okay, you could check out direct weather. Okay. Now, from the central states to the east coast, he's talking about. Uh, I just got to make sure we don't have sound. Okay, this is from yesterday. Now, that's the weather anomaly that I've been looking at for the last three weeks. And we've been arguing about it for... It's one of our better arguments. And then we got this one right here. That's around the Great Lakes. But my territory is... That's Texas. If you want tornadoes, you could look at that one. That's pretty interesting. Now, the one I'm worried about is underneath the winter anomaly. That's Florida. That's another weather anomaly. That's mostly tropical storms and hurricanes and stuff like that. But for our purposes, you know, see scattered showers, thunderstorms, high winds, the normal stuff. Ah. Uh, Never have hay fever, folks. Yeah, everybody dies in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's this area in Idaho might get snow. Or is it South Dakota? I think it's South Dakota. No, or hail. Uh, we're still arguing about that one. Let's see what we got. Nah, that's boring. I don't live on the Midwest. Yeah, let's see. Okay, if you look where the Southwest is, it's pretty dry. Okay, other than, let's see, Arkansas, rain, Georgia, rain, Florida, uh, pray for Florida. Uh, cyclones and we got some storm fronts going through the central states well they need rain in North Dakota and South Dakota not all at once yeah let's see I'm trying to figure out we were arguing about the massive heat wave what was it nah don't want to worry about that I don't live in Virginia uh, let's see don't live in New York. Yeah, I think I went too far. There. Do, 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 do. Okay, those purple spots are sudden cold spells. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, it's in the Sierras, Nevada, some parts of Arizona. Man, Colorado and New Mexico, God does not like you. And then it goes down to Mexico City, but oh boy, when it gets in purple, that's ugly. Really ugly. Yeah, let's see. Heat wave. Wrong area. the wrong area. That's the East Coast. Uh, let's see. Went too far. Okay, let's see. Okay, so far so good. We have a few purple splotches. And that's in the Pacific North 
west. I've, like I said, I've been studying it like crazy. And it's purple, so that's not a good color, folks. Okay, I'm trying to pick this up. Let's see, I don't want to go too far. That went too far. Okay, that's the part of the heat wave I've been studying. It's not a good one, folks. We cook. Okay, now I disagree with him. I think it's going to be a lot worse. It starts on Wednesday and it's traveling up. Blue areas are cold and rain and stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then the southwest, ah, it gets clobbered. Parts of Texas southwest. Let's see, yeah. That's uh, a better photograph of that. All the way down to the Bajas. Okay, we'll stop right there. And this will go around the coast. All the way to the east coast. Yeah, let's see. Do, 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 do. That. Now, the trouble with a heat inversion like this, it's really bad, folks. Here in the West, it's totally dry. We're going to have wildfires, blackouts, you name it. And we're arguing and we're figuring out dates and forecasting and stuff. Here's my forecast, okay? From June 8th to June 18th, Southwest anywhere from 101 to 140 that's death valley okay phoenix and northern arizona southern arizona anywhere from 105 to 119 phoenix i have a toss-up with two other guys and we're arguing it's going to be 120 or 118 so it's a kind of flip uh southwest that's california Nevada, Arizona, parts of New Mexico, Baja, Cal Baja, California, and Mexico, you're going to die. Okay, we're talking Fry City. 101 to 140. I would not be out there, folks. Okay, power blackouts. Now, I know Colorado is going to get hit with something like this because if the grid gets overtaxed, guess what happened to your transformers? Because mountain states are not used to this heat. So that's Nevada, Colorado, New Mexico, part of Arizona, but they shouldn't have no problems. They're used to the heat. Part of Texas. Okay? Power blackouts. Do not use power between the hours of 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. So if you watch Linda's prepping kitchen, you get some ideas how to cool your house or how to cool you down. Remember, we want to keep the coldness in and not to fry until Wednesday, then the weather pattern changes. So like I said, the 8th to the 18th. So please be careful. Watch your electrical consumption. Get your supplies, okay? Make sure your freezer and refrigerator has a power source because my friends were asking about six different types of uh, power sources. And I told them, it's not a generator. That's a lie. That's a promotional scheme. Yes, you can recharge it with a solar cell. It's not a generator. I keep telling this to people. This is why Uncle Alan wants to quit. Okay. So I'll catch you later, folks. I'll be seeing you. Uh, next one is how Uncle Alan does all this wonderful stuff. And I'll be seeing you. Bye now.